So we're going to do a little intro to this one first, just about graphing polynomials in general. We're going to find some patterns. So we are familiar with basic graphs. We know that y equals x is just a line. We know that y equals x squared is a parabola. And we know that y equals x cubed. Nice little cubic function. Some of my students call these noodles. And I know that y equals x to the fourth. If you were to graph this, it basically looks like an x squared. It's just slightly flatter. Slightly flatter there. I didn't draw that very well, but it'll just hover there a little bit longer before it goes up. Same idea with y equals x to the fifth. If you were to graph that, basically looks like an x cubed, just a little flatter there. This is a little exaggerated, but a little flatter there. And y equals x to the sixth. Same idea, just slightly flatter. So you notice that, that everything with an odd power, one, three, and five, right? One end goes down, the other end goes up. One end is down, the other's up there. Their end behavior is opposite. Whereas all the evens, their end behavior is the same. Up and up, up and up, up and up. Um, you'll also notice that as the power increases, it just flattens that part out. So even you can think of even the line from being x to the first power to x to the third power, it just flattens that out a little bit. It's not, not going straight through, pausing a bit. Not going straight through, pausing. Flatter, flatter. So that's the gist. If you were to add stuff onto this, like if you were to add x squared plus x cubed plus x squared plus one, that's gonna make it wiggle in the middle. I don't know exactly where that's not perfect, but it's gonna make it wiggle. Same things with these, if I added on stuff to the end. It would just make it wiggle. The end behavior would still be the same, and uh, but we would have a more interesting looking graph. Um, so adding stuff, get those, and then the um, a negative. If I were to make that like a negative x squared, that's just going to flip the thing over. You know that if that's positive x squared, then a negative x squared is flipped over. Same thing if I were to make that x to the fifth negative, that would just flip that thing over. So that is the intro to this, and we're going to use it to graph these big guys. And I think I'll do that in a separate clip to keep the clip short.